Hey there everybody, this is Ewart by Ewart Fly Workshop and today we are going to be tying a classic pattern, a uh, wet fly pattern called Peter Ross, originated from the uh, UK as I understand. And the Ross is a really really strong fly when it comes to, at least here in Iceland we use it a lot for the uh, arctic char fishing. We start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook, as we just done, and the tail of the fly is made out of this um, feather from the golden fashion, not the head, but the neck feather, kind of. And we just loose, take a few loose wraps while we attach that to the shank, and then secure it down with tighter wraps. It's nice to do like a couple of wraps before, and then kind of tune in the feather the length of the tail which we uh, prefer and it's uh, not uh, not really a complicated fly to tie um, the next step is that the body of the fly is made out of flat silver and the rib of the fly is made with an oval silver so like there so we start by cutting the and preparing the oval silver attach that to the shank of the hook. Following we'll be attaching the flat silver tinsel to the shank of the hook. And the body of the fly it's like uh, around 50-50 ratio. So flat silver is 50% uh, of the body and the rest of the body would be uh, red wool or aurora yarn or or even top seal, 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 red seal, and uh, and some top will do the job as well. But uh, we'll start by attaching the, start with the body. So we attach both the silver materials to the body, and then we get the thread to there. Like it's like almost the middle, just like a millimeter in front of the middle or so. And then we wrap the. Uh, oval silver around the body this tinsel is it's a plastic tinsel like those uh, materials are mostly made out of the day it's uh, comfortable to work with, work with and, uh, and nice uh, in any way it uh, doesn't like we say it uh, it lasts longer than the metal tinsel I have metal tinsel but we are not using that today and then we will wrap the uh, oval silver thread or the oval silver tinsel over the silver part of the body and then we lock that down with our thread there then again we um, make sure that the oval silver is in place and take few tight wraps and snip off the end and what comes in next is the uh, front part of the body, which could be yes, made out of aurora yarn or wool or, or something red. I prefer to use like a bright, rather bright red color, as you see. I take two strands of the aurora yarn I'm using and attach them to the shank of the hook and get the thread to the eye of the hook. And then we form the body of the fly. It varies, you know, it depends on uh, what you like. If you want to keep that front part of the body thicker, or if you just want to leave it like, like this. I actually uh, prefer to, um, prefer to um, go with the wool back and forth. So it's a little bulkier body than the, um, than the, silver part. This doesn't work out, so yeah, we'll attach it down there with a few tight wraps. And some people prefer to take the um, oval silver all the way over the red part. I don't do that, that's just my method. Some people prefer to do that, and if you prefer it, you just, you just do so. And then there is either a black hackle or a beard. It, 
you know, you can pick one you like. Uh, I am gonna put a beard on this and we'll use a black rooster for that. We'll just take few fibers off this uh, black feather we had and uh, measure them out. Turn the vise around, which is really comes in handy to have a rotary, full rotary vise. Then we attach a beard by, yeah, few wraps there. It's okay if it stands out like this. It's like, um, yeah, it's, uh, there is nothing wrong with that. And then we snip off the tag end and can adjust the beard by with your fingers a little bit. You have like space for that. And the last thing with the fly is the wing. And we are using a mallard uh, teal feathers for that. It's like the side or a teal feather from the mallard duck. It's used for many flies, wet, wet flies like teal blue and silver, teal and black, and some 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 black panels and and some other classic patterns. Then we'll just take like um, take like part of this, like one side maybe of that uh, feather and you have to adjust the uh, feathers so like not rolling them up but make sure that the outer part of it so like this pattern which you see there uh, make sure that that uh, is seen all around the fly so you can kind of wrap the feather in your fingers and, and create it like that and then we attach the wing down to the um, to the shank of the or the uh, eye, and the fly is ready. We just have to give it a few knots with a whip finishing job. I'm not going to spend time even on recording the the uh, varnish. It's no need for that. You know how to place a varnish on the fly, and if you don't, uh, they're almost in all of my other videos. So we'll just snip off the end there and the Peter Ross fly is ready. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already done so. And uh, we'll be working on with those wet flies on more. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.